is Naomi. I normally do vocal colors instead, but today I'm going to do a tutorial video on how to import your VR Studio model to VRChat. This is my very first tutorial video, so I apologize if I sound very awkward. Okay, so first of all, I believe you already have your model ready in VR Studio, but for you to be able to import your model to VRChat, you will need to get this model into Unity later. So you will need a .vrm file instead. You can get the VRM file of your model by clicking this export button and go to export as VRM. This will take a little bit of time because it has to do some calculations for you. And it could probably take a little longer depending on your PC specs. So don't worry if it's taking a long time. Okay, so in this window, you can see your model right here, and on the right side, there is also your some info on the model, like the number of polygons. The number of polygons is especially important here if you want to make a good performance your chat avatar. I'm not really going to explain it on this video though since it's not really related but you can open this window and there are some edges reduction settings here and you can use the sliders to reduce the number of polygons the lower the number of polygons the better the performance it will be And after you finish adjusting this stuff, you can just click the export button. You have to be very careful with the sliders though, because some of them won't really change the appearance too much, but some of them will change the appearance a lot, especially the outfit, as you can see right here. I already exported this file though, so I'm just gonna go ahead to the next step. Okay, so the next step you need to prepare is to download Unity so you can use the editor. You can go to the official Unity website and download the Unity Hub for your OS. And you can use that to download the specific Unity editor that you need. To be able to export content to VRChat, you will need a very specific version, which is this one right here. Uh, don't worry about it, I'll put all the links in the description below, so you can download from those links. On top of Unity, you also need to download some SDKs, especially the VRChat ones. You can go to VRChat official website and you can see that there's SDK tree for walls and avatars. For this time, we're only going to do a VRChat avatar, so you can just download this one if you want to make worlds too, you can download this for the future as well. And there is also another SDK you need to download which is VRM Converter for VRChat. You need this one because it's really convenient, it does everything for you. There's another method actually using Univarium, but that one is quite complicated and 
might require some tweaking on your own so I really recommend just using this one instead you also need a pixel account to download this content but it's free so don't worry about it after you've downloaded everything I'm pretty sure Unity Hub will ask you to activate your license somewhere. I'm not sure if it's right when you install Unity Hub, but normally you can just go for the I don't use Unity in the professional setting option since you're not going to use it for any commercial use. Then now we're going to create a new Unity project by clicking new project and for real chat content we will need a 3D project so I'm just going to here you can name the project anything you want but since this is just a dummy project for me I'm just gonna put a random name here Okay, now that we're in our Unity project, we need to import the SDKs that we have downloaded earlier. We can import them by going to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, and then you have to go and look for where you have downloaded the SDKs for me, I put them in this folder so firstly we are going to import the VR SDK tree author package okay so next I'm gonna import the other SDK just this one, VRM converter for VRChat After you have imported that SDK, you should get something like this, but it is not too important, you can just ignore it. Now next is the most important step, which is getting your model into the project. Just gonna open this and drag the model in here. It's gonna take some time to process as usual. Right, okay, now you can see your VRM folder is already under the assets, but we don't want this dot VRM file as your prefab. We want to instead use this the converter we have downloaded earlier and duplicate and convert for VRChat and after everything is completed you should get this one a new prefab right next to your old one just in case I'm just gonna delete and drag this one out instead so I don't get the wrong one for exporting VRChat avatars you have to put your model at x, y, z at 0 which are the coordinates Aside from that, you also need a VRC auto descriptor. Um, normally, it probably should have one ready right here, but I'll just show you how to do it. Click at component and then in the search bar type VRC and you should get this list. Click on VRC avatar descriptor. And in 
and here you should get this view thingy and this thing controls your view position in VRChat Oops. so you click on edit and you can move this thing the VRChat documentation recommends that you put this view position in between your eyes so I'll put them around right here I've done this for most of the avatars that I've converted so yeah that should be fine right uh, anyway after you're done you can just click return And then next thing you need to do is go to the VRChat SDK, go to the control panel, and you need to sign in over here. Oh, by the way, you can upload a VRChat avatar unless you have a VRChat account, so make sure you have that. If you use a Steam account, you can link your VRChat account, so don't worry. Okay, after you sign in, go to Builder and here they will show you some warnings that you have to fix if you want your avatar to be free of bugs, fully functional and have good performance. But if you want to fix all of this, you're going to require some 3D modeling skills so I won't be covering them if you want to fix all these things please try to learn 3D modeling and own this dead so this is site once you've checked everything you can use the build and test option if you want to test your model first and check if the wheel position is correct if you want to adjust that but if you think everything's fine or if you test it already you can just use build and publish for windows and it should bring you to another window okay after all the processing is done you can just fill in your author name and your description as for whether you want your model to be private or public it depends on whether you want to share your model with other people if you don't want to share it you can just use private if you want to share it you can choose public and after everything is done, just click the upload and it will be uploaded to the VHF platform. But don't worry if you upload a private avatar and you want to share it later, you can always change this later. Uh, I'll show you how as well. Okay. So, this is how you manage the private and public status of your avatars. In this VHR SDK window, go to your content manager and you will see the list of avatars you have uploaded. So you can just toggle make public, make private over here and your status will change accordingly. And that's pretty much it. Again, I apologize. Uh, the video was hard to follow or if any steps were too confusing. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer all of them. If you are curious in 3D modeling as well, you can also ask. I'll try my best to answer as well. 
that's all for the video today. Bye.